All right, guys, thanks for stopping by V's Life. First time here, just want to say I appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're going to do just a quick opening, um, kind of go through the contents here of the Everlit first aid kit. Uh, right off the bat, it's got a decent pricing. It's right under 50, so it's not bad for what you're going to get. Um, it's a good kind of middle of the line starter kit. I would not call it a knife hack. It's a little big, a little bulky for me to kind of have on your everyday gear. Uh, this is going to be really good for kind of maybe attaching it somewhere and then a kind of quick pull when you need it. So my first impression is uh, I feel like the stitching is good. I mean, you got double stitching here. Um, I would say it's uh, quasi waterproof. Uh, you got a hole there in case so you can leak. So it's not bad. It does feel kind of big, kind of bulky, which is why I just would think it'd be a good idea to keep it stuck somewhere. Um, let's see. So it looks like. We're going to just pop open this strap. This, your Molly piece, has a kind of quick detacher, which is why I like that. So you would be attaching this to wherever you want it to go. And then you can quickly uh, throw it on there and pull it off whenever you want. Um, also works well if you don't want to use this and say you have like, you know, a nice pack with those kind of hook and loop. You can kind of attach it to it and it'll stay there. So this is good for pack. It's got Molly in the front in case you want to throw anything kind of, kind of quick grab right here into the front. Let's open it up. Looks like it's got another strap here. And most of the times you're going to have these kind of up at the top so you can pull them open. Hey, the one thing uh, that I did notice right away that this kit doesn't have that I would add to it is a uh, combat gauze. Um, these have a hemostatic agent in it. It's Z folded. It's four yards. Not cheap. Well worth it. Always want to have one of these with you aside from all your other gauzes. This is a good add on to the kit. Other than that, for my needs, the kit is pretty good as it comes. You get your you get a splint. It's a pretty big splint too. Um, emergency card from Everlit Survival. So you can kind of fill that out and have that ready. Here. It did come with a, this is another compressed gauze, also Z folded. This one just doesn't have the hemostatic agent to stop some of the bleeding. These are good. A lot of kits come with these. Again, for packing, this is not bad. So on this side we have here, so thermal blanket. These are nice to keep people warm. Uh, more dressings. It's over here. Alcohol prep pads antiseptic wipes and some bandages and dressing so there's your kind of boo-boo type setup on this side you get some tape um, you got a pair of shears i will say right off the bat these look kind of small in comparison to like let's compare them to these are legit uh, er shears from my days in the er um, and you can see the difference there in the size so these are not going to be like the amazingest quality but also probably don't cost as much as these do so you do get shears Get a little marker, and the marker is for writing time on your tourniquet, which is important. So this is just your standard cat tourniquet. Um, I will say with these, there was a time when everybody was handing them out like candy and just use tourniquets, use tourniquets. This is a bit of a, you want to really use this as a last resort. You want to try to stop as much bleeding as you can with compression. Um, obviously, if you've seen enough trauma, you understand that that needs a tourniquet right away. If you haven't, you might want to just try some compression first. You know, if you're getting that fresh squirts of fresh red blood, that is a tourniquet. If you're not, you want to try to use some compression, um, which is why I like these compression bandages. They're also known as Israeli bandages. And I will say these can get a little pricey. If you wanted to piece it together, it's just ace bandages and some gauze. Uh, so you can do go that way and go that route. With that route, it's just gonna take up a little bit more room. So I'm okay with spending a little bit of money and having one of these on hand, um, along with other gauze, obviously. Uh, something else you could add to the kit, if you wanted to, would just be some type of, this type of tape, which you can create some compression with this also. I'll leave that there, I'll leave this out. And then in here, so here is just like an ace bandage, and more gauze, and a pair of gloves. So it pretty much opens up the whole kit right here for you so you can see the whole thing. 
So overall, like I said, it's decent price and kind of middle of the line kit. And why I want this one is because it's going to stay in my truck. So it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to take it anywhere with me. I have, if you look right here, I have a legit IFAC that I've put together that kind of goes with me in my pack. And that one is more stays on me when I go out and about. This one will just be staying in the truck. Once I do get this one in the truck, I'll put a link here so you guys can watch it if you want to. But yeah, this is why I went with this kit. So price point where it's staying quick release you can add some tape if you want and i would just add one combat gauze you can also just get i mean it's made by quick clot so if you just don't want to buy the combat gauze one they just make this sound cool um you could just buy any of the quick clots that have the hemostatic agent in it so there's your whole kit this is everything that you get on top of what needs to get added on in my opinion I'll wrap it up and get it all back together All right, guys, so there she is, put back together. Once I get it installed in the Tacoma, I definitely will put a link to it, everything down below, but good middle of the line kit should get you started, okay? You guys have a good one, stay safe out there.